right, here we go with our video 8.3, Spontaneous Redox. Here we're going to learn how to determine if redox reactions will occur spontaneously. And to do so, we're going to use Table J, which we've done earlier this year. So the general rule, elements higher on Table J, more active, right, are more reactive than elements below them. So at the most active is up top these are more reactive the least active on the bottom these are the least reactive a spontaneous reaction occurs without adding energy to the system you don't have to put energy in to make it happen now if the single element so these are all going to be single replacements if the element by itself the single element is more active higher on the list than the combined element the reaction will be spontaneous When we look at non-spontaneous reactions, they won't occur unless energy is added to the systems. And the next two videos after this are going to deal with spontaneous and non-spontaneous reactions. If the single element is less active than the combined element, the reaction will not be spontaneous. Here you do not have to add energy. Here you have to add energy. So let's look at an example. So here we have our single element is zinc, it's by itself, the combined element is lead. So is zinc higher than lead? Well, here's zinc, here's lead. Zinc is higher than lead, so this reaction is spontaneous. And we're going to end up with lead by itself and some form of zinc chloride. be ZnCl2. We're not going to get into all that now. Alright, so here, zinc and barium. Is zinc higher than barium? Well, here's barium. Here is zinc. So it is not, so there will be no reaction. It will be non-spontaneous. In order to make this reaction happen, we would have to put in energy. Ca and Cr. Well, here's calcium and here is chromium. Calcium is higher than chromium, so we're going to end up with calcium fluoride, uh, that'll be CaF2, plus chromium. Iron and magnesium. We look for here's iron, here is magnesium. Well, since iron is not higher than magnesium, there will be no reaction because this is non-spontaneous. How easy was that? All right, question time. So for these two, you're going to have to complete the reaction. Tell, tell me if it's spontaneous or not and complete it. If it's non-spontaneous, then there will be no reaction. All right, short and sweet. I'll see you guys.